The first adjustment I'll show you is a really simple one, and that's your idle speed. The screw right here. Uh, if you screw this inward clockwise, it will raise your idle speed. And if you screw it outward counterclockwise, it should lower your idle speed. If you look through the carburetor, you can see what the idle speed screw actually does. If you screw it in here, you can see that throttle valve, the slide opening up, raising up inside the uh, carburetor, and that'll let more air and fuel pass by at idle. And of course, if you screw it outward, it lowers down, lets less fuel and air pass by at idle. So the higher, the more that's open, uh, the higher your idle speed is, and the more it's closed the lower your idle speed is. Now I'll move on to the idle mixture screw and what that does is it helps control the mixture along with the pilot jet from idle up to about uh, an eighth to a quarter throttle. You've got an opening here on the front of the carburetor that lets air through into a passageway and this idle mixture screw here is actually in that passageway so when you screw that in it blocks off the airway obviously allows less air in to richen up the mixture when you screw it out it opens up allows more air in and leans out the mixture before making any adjustments to the idle mixture screw I'd suggest screwing it in and counting how many turns in it goes so for example this one there's a half a turn one turn one and a half and two turns gets it snug don't force anything so that's two turns outward is where I was set and you want to make note of that write that down or something so you know where to go back to if you have trouble to start off with I would suggest one and a half to two turns out so I'm just gonna go ahead two turns out on this half one one and a half and two turns out when you adjust the idle mixture screw you want to have the engine warm so make sure you start the scooter and let it run for five minutes or maybe even take it down the road to get the engine good and warm because you don't want the automatic enricher affecting your adjustments here and that's going to work until the engine's warmed up a little bit. To adjust the idle mixture screw you'll start out by turning it one way or the other it doesn't really matter about a quarter of a turn then you'll let it settle for a second and see if the engine idle uh, increases decreases or stays the same if it increases then keep going the way you were going a quarter turn at a time again let it settle listen again if it stays the same keep going the same way you were going and if it decreases go back the opposite way a quarter turn at a time but each time you're going about a quarter turn give the engine a few seconds to settle listen for increased or decreased idle speed and you're doing this to accomplish the highest idle speed that you can get out of this uh, idle mixture screw if you end up with this screwed all the way in for the best uh, idle, the highest idle, that's blocking off all the air for the richest setting. So that's telling you that your pilot jet is actually too small, so you should really move up on the pilot jet size and then readjust this. If you get the best idle with a screw screwed way out like you see here, that's allowing the most air through. So that's telling you your pilot jet is actually too large and you'll want to try going down a step on pilot jet size. If this is wiggling around, that's not safe because uh, with all the vibration of the engine and stuff, you may end up losing this screw. There's a little uh, spring behind it that keeps tension on it. And if it's screwed out too far, that spring's not gonna keep enough tension to keep that secure. So again, if it's screwed all the way in for the best idle, then your pilot jet is too small. If it's screwed all the way out or very far out, then your pilot jet is too large.